I'm walking up our road to go check out a beehive that is swarming. So, what do we call it? It's a hive swarming? Bees are swarming? I don't know. I don't so, I'm on my neighbor's property checking out. They have a sort of permaculture operation. They've got a, some goats, some chickens, free ranging, and then this. I've got it on subject tracking mode, so hopefully you'll be able to capture this in pretty good quality. Pretty neat. So they've got their other beehives there. Goat's walking away. And then this is swarming, so I'm assuming the queen, a queen, because there's probably one in each of those, a queen is under that giant mess of honeybees. Now, if you know me, I know this much about bees. That is to say, very little. Um, but this is pretty neat. And since you probably have nothing better to do other than like work and school, and the coronavirus is making us not go anywhere, I know that they're pretty docile. Um, they can be annoyed and irritated, but as long as you maintain pretty good social distancing, haha, oh, and you're so funny, then you're probably pretty good. Although I'm also noticing that, don't touch your face, oh, darn it. Although I'm also noticing that the swarm kind of keeps fluctuating where it'll go, there'll be a lot of them coming around and then they'll all kind of converge and then they'll all slowly break out again. But there's always a giant mass cluster right there. And the thing is, I know if you're a beekeeper, you're probably all screaming at me, oh, and go grab your beekeeping stuff and put them in a box. But I don't, first of all, have beekeeping stuff or a box to put them in. So. The owner of the uh, bees was, I think, is on his way home now to deal with them. So now, when you only have to do school every day and you don't get to go anywhere, the next intelligent thing to do is set up your tripod and get as close as possible to the bees. Duh, that's whatever the same person does. And if you're naysaying in the back, you're probably smart. So be quiet. Gosh darn it! Before we begin, let me just say I'm not highly allergic to bees, but also don't do this at home. It's probably really stupid. I don't know what I'm doing. So enjoy. <laughs> The idea is that, to see how close I can get, without getting stung. If I get stung, it's for you people. So crazy. I'm pretty close, I'm touching the tree. It looks like they're eating the sap off of the, okay, that's, that's too close, I'm too close. So now, after investigating closely by myself, let's move the camera in so you guys can get a nice up-close look with our friends, the bees. Sassy the goat seems to be pretty chill. So does Alfred the rooster. No, his name isn't Alfred, I just named him that. But if you can see, they're sucking at the sap on the tree. And now it's focusing. And there's a fly on my leg and it almost freaked me out. Ow. No, that was a, not a bee. Okay. That's pretty cool. And there you basically have it. Bees. Our friendly docile animals that basically pollinate all our crops, I think. Um, maybe there'll be some numbers floating around. Or maybe they won't. I don't know. So, that's it for today. I'm the Virginia Farm Wannabe. My name's Owen Godbold. I hope you enjoyed this short clip on the Virginia Farm Wannabe channel. Peace out. Or should I say bees out? Oh yeah, bee, bee joke. joke. Also, I just realized I said animal. I meant insect. These are insects, right? I don't know, don't look at me. I just live here. Sheesh. I kinda wanna go annoy that rooster. No, no. Ignore the temptation, okay. Gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it, not gonna do it, sorry.